This video will take you through the features and functions of the Lifeform Micro Premi Simulator. Nearly one out of every eight newborns arrives prematurely. To help give your tiniest patients the best care possible, NASCO has introduced the Lifeform Micro Premi Simulator. This 25-week, extremely low birth weight neonate is the smallest and most realistic preterm infant available. This compromised newborn is realistically designed using soft, flexible, lifelike material that is durable enough to withstand several years of simulation experiences. The MicroPremi Simulator is invaluable for training healthcare professionals at every level in care and handling techniques for babies with multiple medical interventions. It's the perfect team simulation aid for multiples or other high-risk delivery and transport scenarios. Airway, Breathing, and Ventilation the bulb and tube assembly included with the neonate may be used to manually simulate both respiration rate and volume, which produces a visually dramatic chest rise. Practice chest compressions and oral intubation using a functional ET tube, mechanical ventilator, or BVM. Gastrointestinal. The left nostril of the infant accepts a functioning nasogastric tube. The tube passes through the nostril and into the stomach. Tube feeding may be performed. Liquids drain away from the body through a drain tubing system or into the provided diaper. Umbilicus. The soft, lifelike umbilicus has one functioning patent vessel. The umbilical stump functions like a cork, plugging into a small cavity molded into the abdomen. The cavity can be used as a reservoir for blood withdrawals through a catheter or to infuse fluids. Fluids drain away from the body through a drain tubing system or into the diaper. A separate non-functioning umbilicus represents an optional omphalocele. IV. Four sites have embedded tubing that can accept an IV catheter or butterfly infusion needle. The left arm, the left hand, the right foot, and the right scalp. The scalp vein is the only functional site and allows for infusion. Fluids drain away from the body through a drain tubing system or into the diaper. Other sites may be used to practice needle insertion and bandaging. Chest tube. Insertion and care of the chest tube area may be practiced. A permanent site in the infant's right side will accept a non-functional chest tube. Stoma care. Two permanent non-functional stomas may be used to practice attaching an ostomy bag and for care and cleaning of the ostomy sites. Skin and wound care. Practice visual observation, care, and prevention of skin breakdown, as well as bandaging. Skin breakdown is visible in three typical sites, occiput, or the back of the head, and both heels of the foot. Neural tube defect. An open neural tube defect may be inserted into the back of the infant to practice visual observation and care. Additional training options include monitoring. Various monitors, sensors, and electrodes may be attached and connected, just as they would on a real micropremi. Suctioning. Practice suctioning nose, oral cavity, and stomach. Observation and measurement. Observe and measure each part of the body, including height, weight, and circumference of the skull. Cleaning and diaper changing. Practice cleaning, bathing, and diaper changing while the neonate is in the incubator. Patient simulation does make a difference. Put essential skills to practice by training on the MicroPremi Simulator developed by NASCO.